like we're on a little walk. It's September 1st. So we were like, let's go get a PSL. It's been out for like a week, but, or maybe more than that. But also I had COVID and I just wasn't really in the mood for August. But now that it's September, I got it with no whipped cream, oat milk, decaf. It's very sweet. I'm not gonna be able to drink the whole thing, but it is very tasty. All right, we're in the car. I am eating a yogurt at every red light and I'm headed to the nail salon. I haven't gotten my nails done in I think a month and they are looking tragic. I usually get them done every three weeks and like by the three weeks, since my nails grow kind of fast, like they're they're ready to go. So we're gonna we're gonna get this fixed first and foremost. Let's do it. That awful feeling when you're walking into your nail appointment and you realize you left your phone at home. So you have nothing to listen to or do while you get your nails done. Nightmare. Not a bad view to uh, park and get your nails done. <laughs> Pretty amazing. I love living here. Just finished at the nail salon. Oh my God. Why is getting your nails done like so mentally taxing? Like you're just sitting there like, I mean for me anyway, it's torture. It's not for fun. It's not like a relaxing thing for me. I am on edge every second of that appointment. <laughs> but I love having my nails done. And actually I had a new guy this time and he was lovely and we chatted the whole time. So it was great. Anyways, I went for kind of like a, like it's pretty ugly. It's a pretty ugly chartreuse greenish color, but I actually really, really like it. And this green is definitely like my hyper fixation at the moment. It's just like, it's such a cute color. Are you kidding? Anyway. I don't have a phone, so um, I probably shouldn't be out too long. I'm gonna head home and then see what else we get up to today. Delish, off on a little walkies. We have our umbrellas because it was raining. Little, it's been a weekend of walking so far and I'm loving it. We're back home from our coffee date. That was lovely. And now we're getting ready to go to Trader Joe's. Oh, we're not gonna look at that. That doesn't exist when this door is closed. But we do need a couple things and just like some groceries in general. We're gonna head to Trader Joe's. I've got my wrestling outfit on today. She's a wrestler. She's a wrestler. This little bodysuit thingy is from Old Navy and it's so comfy. And then I have this in case it gets chilly because it's raining today, which is so random. It started raining, I don't know, early this morning. It actually woke me up. And then I've got my long sleeve little thing. This is from Old Navy as well. And then my New Balances and we're ready to go. My outfit. Oh, sorry. Oh my God. <laughs> Show us your OOTD. Um, I got... This shirt I got on Etsy. I think, no I didn't. I didn't get on Etsy, I like. I think it was like a TikTok store that I found. Oh, okay, cute. Nike shorts. Uh-huh. Converse. Some white socks. Hat, hat from your grandpa? No, this is the one we found at the, when we went thrifting oh, in Sun City. we thrifted that, JK. So anyway, that is what we're up to. I did end up just spending the entire rest of the day yesterday editing. I just really needed to catch up on a lot of stuff because as you saw in like previous vlogs, I've been doing a ton of filming. So now I'm like in the editing process. So, all right, to TJ's we go. TJ's haul. I'm gonna make it quick this time because I'm freaking starving. <laughs> I want to eat. First things first, even though it's literally gonna be like 100 degrees next week, it feels like fall today because it's raining, it's cozy. It's not cold, but it's raining. So we decided to get some like fall colored flowers, which are gonna look very weird once it gets up to like 100 degrees. But these are so pretty. I think these were mums and then these are Dotties, I believe. Okay, speed round for the cold stuff. We got some wine. I don't, this was just, um, we had nowhere left to put this stuff. We got a Malbec. Um, Trader Joe's has a pet nat wine. 
for like 11 dollars or something, which felt like a really good price. We'll be the Yeah, we'll, we'll be definitely. the judge of that. And then a Sauvignon Blanc. We got eggs. We have plum cots, which is a plum apricot hybrid. Are you too far away? I'm gonna scoot you closer. I'm fine. <laughs> just felt like you were too far away. Okay. Frozen garlic, this stuff is amazing to cook with because you just like pop it out of the little plastic. So you just and they're already ready to go and you keep it in the freezer. Don't drop it in hot oil though. Oh yeah, bad idea. It <laughs> I got these cukes with a Q and they're teeny tiny cucumbers. I'm sorry. Little baby cucumbers. That's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Got some spinach for my smoothies in the morning. We got some little gem lettuce, which I think is perfect for salads and then also just like to have on sandwiches, whatever. Got some green beans. One of the best things at Trader Joe's is their vegan kale, cashew, and basil pesto. It's so freaking good. Apple smoked bacon. We're gonna be eating that momentarily, I think. We got this um, marinated bulgogi. And I've seen a lot of this on TikTok. We love the marinated meats from Trader Joe's. They're so easy to just like put together with like a starch, a vegetable, and then you have an easy dinner. So we might do like a little rice bowl with this. Not 100% sure, but that looks amazing. We got some pesto chicken breast, again, just to like throw together and have for a nice meal. Got some ground turkey. We got some cod. Usually we do like a miso glazed salmon, but I've seen a couple of people do like a miso glazed cod. I don't think I've ever had cod apart from like fish and chips. So excited to try that. We got three of the cheddar cheese and bacon egg bites. Drew likes these now, so wrap. Raspberries. We got some kimchi. We like trying all different kinds of kimchi. Obviously, the best kimchi is from H Mart that we've had, but they also have this one. So we're we'll gonna try that. See. We'll see. We got one single Icelandic yogurt. Drew's gonna try the frozen peach thing, so he's excited about that. We got some carne asada. So just marinated carne asada. I got this lemon pepper chicken breast. I thought this would be good to just cut up and put in my salads throughout the week. I think I have until like Wednesday or Thursday to eat that. Frozen hash browns, the best thing. <laughs> One of the like top things from Trader Joe's, just stick them in the air fryer. Bless you. Sorry. Drew really wanted to try these. They're mini cheeseburgers. They're essentially like, if you're from the South, you know like White Castle, Crystal, all that good stuff, but Trader Joe's has their own version now. But he was like, I really wanna try those, like those look really good. So we're gonna go for that. Sweet potato gnocchi in my top five of all time. Apple juice, Drew is addicted to this stuff. Their frozen rice is so clutch to have. You're like, forgot to make rice and you need to throw something in the microwave for three minutes and be done. Um, last time we got the creamsicle mm. popsicles and they were out this time, which Drew was very upset about, but he got the root beer float ones to try. So we'll look forward to that. I have ordered for tea. <laughs> He's very upset. And then I got these hold the cone. They're just like the little mini ice cream cones, but I got chocolate this time. Oh, so why not? All right, we're getting there. We have two more bags. This is basically like our produce bag. We have Campari tomatoes. These look so red and white, but our little tomatoes on our plant are not anywhere close to done, so. It's fine, we've got a lot of summer left. Baby carrots, strawberries, two nectarines, two limes, red onion, a shitload of bananas, two more limes, a bell pepper, garlic, teeny tiny avocados, cause they're just so cute. Cotton candy grapes, cause tis the season. Tis the damn season. Broccolini, baby Yukon gold <laughs> potatoes. Got a couple leeks, cause we're gonna do some potato leek soup. A little tiny spaghetti squash, which is gonna be so cute. Celery, dill pickle chips. They were out of the other chips that we showed in the last haul, which were like barbecue, Patio, ketchup, pickle. Chips yeah, something Got a bunch of these little fruit leathers, apple raspberry, apple wild berry, and apple strawberry. They're so good. Sweet onions, dark chocolate mini pretzels. I would like some of those right now, to be honest. Teriyaki turkey jerky, sun-dried tomatoes, black beans, goddess dressing, ketchup, which, you know, usually I'm a Heinz early, so I don't know, we'll see about that. Avocado oil cooking spray, crushed red pepper, and last but not least, Drew's favorite, his English crumpets. And that is all. That's our Trader Joe's haul. Now I'm starving, so we're gonna make like some brunch or something. Also forgot to show our spicy water for the week, which is raspberry lime. Is there anything better than this? No, there is not. All right, here we have it. We've got a hash brown with avocado cottage cheese and hot honey with like salt and pepper and seasonings. Got some eggs, I'll put some hot sauce on those. Got some bacon and got some fruit. 
I'm starving, goodbye. Good morning, it is the next day. Yesterday was a day just of laundry. We actually did all of our laundry in one day, which we hadn't done our laundry in like two weeks because like my mom was here, COVID it all and kind of stuff. But surprisingly, we got everything done in one day. But um, we just went, ran to the grocery store and got a couple things because today, we are doing like a fun little, we're pretending it's fall essentially. Cause you know, it rained yesterday. It's like kind of nice and cloudy today. So our friends are coming over, our friends Josh and Noel, and we're doing basically like a fall, like a pretend fall day. So we're gonna like bust out the fall candles. We're gonna make a pot roast. We're gonna watch, you know, cozy movies, things like that. So we had to go to the grocery store and get like a, like a piece of meat for the pot roast. I also got some perfect bars. I'm gonna put those away. First things first, we're gonna start our pan. We also got a baguette you have on the side. I literally rolled out of bed, put some leggings on. I wore the shirt to sleep last night. <laughs> That's kind of where we're at at the moment. We gotta find our crock pot. Where the hell is that thing? Oh, you know where it is? Okay. Yeah. There she goes. This is a very strange smell to have in my kitchen at 9 16 in the morning, but. Sorry. I also forgot to show this. Drew just reminded me. Look at this tiny little tahin. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life and I saw it at the grocery store and I bought it. Do I need it for anything? No, I think we have a big one, but um, I just need it. It's tiny and it's really cute. In she goes. The recipe calls for fresh rosemary and thyme, so. Obviously we have it now. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen that we have a caterpillar invasion. And this little caterpillar is busy at first we thought maybe it was like from the rain but then it started spreading over and over and over um so a lot of you gave some good tips we bought some neem oil to spray on this and it's coming today a lot of you may not know this but drew actually used to have a huge garden if i can find any pictures i'll insert them here but it was literally massive you grew everything watermelons um like everything yeah and he did it for years probably like three or four years but anyways we're gonna cut some herbs, hopefully spray these bad boys and get rid of our freaking caterpillars, although they were kind of cute. And then we're gonna put them in our pot. We're also gonna do some carrots and celery. Don't know how many to do. Four people, so we'll just like figure it out. I guess a lot of veggies is never a bad thing. I personally love the veggies in a pot roast, and this is like a lot of meat, so. Celery is more just for aromatic purposes, and then we'll do a whole onion. I'm just gonna chop the onion in half and then put it in because it separates anyways. Um, but you're more than welcome to slice it if that's your vibe. One half and the other half. And then we're doing low sodium beef broth because we're also gonna be adding a packet of seasoning. Then we're gonna add a packet of onion soup mix. This is like an OG, like I feel like everybody used to do this. And then we're gonna add a little bit of wine as well, because why not? For the seasonings, yeah, we're doing the onion soup packet, rosemary, thyme, and a bay leaf. And then garlic, right? Yeah. We'll add about a cup of red wine. I've never done red wine in a pot roast before, only beef stew, so we'll see how that is. And then we're throwing in our garlic, and we're done. Now we put the lid on, put everything in there, it looks Amaze and it's on low for eight hours. So we'll see you then. We'll take some of the broth out and then like thicken it afterwards. And that's how this recipe goes. But now it is coffee time and we're making some brown sugar, oat milk, shaking espressos. In case you haven't seen it, this is like a Starbucks sort of dupe. I mean, it's not exact, but it's still pretty dang good, honestly. shake mine because I don't want to shake it in the glass, but I just stir it. It's a stirred espresso. Then you add your oat milk and your ice, and it's delicious. No, it's not going to happen. Yeah, great, perfect. Cheers. Cheers. I mean, nowhere near as good as Starbucks, but still very good. All right, I'm going to drink this, eat some breakfast, and then take a shower. It is 
much later. It's literally like after 6 p.m. now. Um, we cleaned our entire apartment. I took a shower. We chilled for a very long time. It was a very relaxing Sunday. And now we are going to check on the pot roast. We're gonna make the gravy and then potentially start the mashed potatoes. Cause that's one thing I forgot to mention is I feel like the best way to eat a pot roast is over mashed potatoes instead of having the potatoes like in the pot roast itself. Cause I don't know, sometimes they get like mealy and just kind of gross. So let's see where we're at with this, uh, this pot roast. So here we go. It's eight hours later. Oh my God, it looks so good. So I think we're gonna like take this stuff out, make like a gravy and then like shred the beef and put it back in, do all that good stuff. First fall candle of the season. You can definitely tell this is leftover from last year and um, will probably be one of the last burns, but hey, it's a good one. I'm excited either way. We also have to set the vibe, so definitely need some like fall ambiance happening. This sounds good. Oh yeah, that's the one. All right, we're pretty much all caught up and we have the gravy done. The mashed potatoes are boiling, or the potatoes are boiling. We're shredding all the beef, and actually, side note, the whole onion thing didn't really work. We kinda had to cut it. Last time we did it, it like all fell apart, but this time, we just kinda have to shred it. And we have never tried this recipe before, so it's kind of nerve wracking. Oh, hello! Oh, you have something to say? What do you have to say? You want your friends to get here? They're coming. Yeah. Anyway, so we'll see how that ends up going. I'm wearing this like old hoodie that I got from the Goodwill bins and I'm, I sewed the, or not sewed. I like ironed on these letters and this patch, it's like all falling off. I think I made it in like 2019 and I'm just wearing my Lululemon bike shorts and my cozy socks. It's really hot in this kitchen because we don't get any central air in here, but I cranked the AC down in the rest of the house to give the fall vibe. So we've got the candle, got the ambiance, got the food. Now I think it's time for a drinky drink. Our friends are bringing over Oktoberfest, mm -hmm. and then we've also got like some wine and some cocktails and things like that, so. Oh, by the way, I decided to do a brown eyeliner today, and I really like it. Anyway, let's party. Beautiful. Cute. Cheers. Cheers. Happy fall. Happy, Happy fall. fall. <laughs> All right, we're watching Harry Potter. We have all of our cute little snacks. We finished dinner. We're doing some Oktoberfest, and Noelle is gonna read okay. the rules to the drinking game that we, we play will be playing. Drinking game. Josh and I play this drinking game every year, so we're just introducing. Yes, Harry to we're excited. Okay, drink one time if uh, if someone says Harry. Okay. Harry's scar is mentioned. Hermione raises her hand or reads a book. Ron yells bloody hell or blimey. <laughs> Voldemort is mentioned. A Quidditch goal is scored. Drink two times if Malfoy acts pompous. Oh god. Oh, okay. And this is the first movie, so we're <laughs> fucked. We're gonna be very drunk by the end of this. Hagrid says, I should not have said that. <laughs> Argus Filch is on screen. Someone says Harry has his mother's eyes. Three times if, <gasps> honestly, we just drink once each time. Right, okay. <laughs> Three times if Hermione corrects Ron, a painting talks. Something explodes around Seamus Finnegan. <laughs> Neville Longbottom forgets something, and you're supposed to take a shot if the Sorcerer's Stone is mentioned. Uh-oh. Well, we are watching the first movie, <laughs> so here we go. You ready, Moo? Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, it's like 11 p.m. We did have a couple drinks, I'm not gonna lie, and now we're gonna go to bed. So even though I wanted to film more of this tonight, I was just in the moment and just decided to put my camera down and enjoy it. But we played like a little Harry Potter drinking game. It was really fun and enjoyed our dinner and just chilled. And it was like the perfect fall night. We truly had such a good time. So now I'm gonna wash my face, brush my teeth and go to bed. Tomorrow is a holiday, which is good. So we have an extra weekend day and I'm very happy about that. We have tons of pot roast <laughs> left over. So that'll be nice to enjoy for the next couple of days. And yeah, thank you so much for being here and I will see you very soon in the next vlog. Bye.